Changes are coming to Instagram designed to better protect children against sextortion and abuse. Meta has announced a new feature that will automatically blur nude images sent to teens younger than 18. This follows the signing of five bills by Governor DeSantis to enhance and create criminal punishment for those who abuse children in Florida. As News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock shows us, parents say they are happy these steps are being taken. But on the parental end, yes, I would love for that to come up as a blurred image. Stephanie Hansen, a mother, is referencing one of Instagram's new tools to help keep teens under 18 safe. The goal is to help protect them from sextortion or the threat to reveal intimate images to force them to do something they don't want to do and make it more difficult for scammers and criminals to find and interact with teens. They'll do this through a default feature for anyone under 18 by automatically blurring nudes sent to their messages. And if the app is aware of people engaging in sextortion, they'll remove the account. And once nudity protection is turned on, along with blurring images, it will send you a message like this saying, take care when sharing sensitive images. Do you think that's something that's going to help deter people from sending nudes to people under 18? I don't think it's going to stop them. They're going to do what they want to do. As it is right now, when we get graphic images that may be a violent or a, um, a, a, a nature that you don't want to see, they go ahead and blur it now. So why not do that with a child getting a nude? The announcement of these changes comes a day after Governor Ron DeSantis signed five bills aimed at protecting children in Florida like House Bill 1545, which prohibits adults from communicating with a minor that includes explicit or descriptions of sexual activity. I think it's great. Dewan Holmes is a social media expert with Brand On Demand Media. She says she appreciates the government and Instagram making bills and changes to help protect children. But she says for all of these changes to work, parents have to be involved with their kids. We've got to educate our children, but we also have to uh, make our children feel comfortable regarding anything that makes them uncomfortable online. We have to have the doors open for communication. Something Stephanie and her husband agree with. Paying attention to what's going on in your kids' lives may help more. Cleo Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station.